Now what we have then is a date that um, we can back, work back from. It's in the pyramid, it's in the Mayan calendar. But it's in the 5,500 years of Mayan years and uh, Hebrew years that gives us the date of 18th of January 3478 BC, which is uh, the Nazarene and Israel in Greek and Hebrew. Right, and you were saying? The the promise, the covenant, was that Adam should not Adam and Eve will not eat of the tree tree of the fruit of life again because the the tree of life that gave them eternal life, the everlasting mm. life, that they would not eat of it. I'll not give it thee now, but when the fifty five hundred years are fulfilled, then will I give thee of the fruit of the tree of life, and thou shalt eat and live forever. Thou and Eve and thy righteous seed. So, that is when? That time is fulfilled on your 69th birthday, which right. is the end, of course, of the Pyramid Prophecy. Your 69th birthday, January 11th, 2013. So basically, um, what you've read so far is that uh, in these lost books of Eden, lost books of Eden, that were considered by the church and uh, rejected. Uh, it gives you the time frame. It gives you uh, the uh, date of uh, 3478 BC, January the 18th. Did you say it was a Friday? Yes. And uh, my birthday, January 11th, 1944. And then uh, 70 years, Hebrew years, Mayan years of Daniel. But it pinpoints well, well, like two compass strokes. The, the, the conversion into Gregorian years, it's 5,500 man or Hebrew, Hebrew right. years equals 40, sorry, 5421 Gregorian years. Right. So when added, so that, taking that to the time of your birth date, then adding the 69 years of this life, Gregorian years or 70 Hebrew years, it's 5490, and that describing the chasm, the great divide that was between God and Adam, and then in the Hebrew, that's in Greek, the Hebrew is his end uh, termination, the end of that gap, if you like, between God and Adam and his righteous seed, and bringing back to the garden. Bring him back into so paradise. The righteous seed, offspring of Adam. Seed of, yeah. And into the garden where all evil will be cast to the abyss. Yes. There's a chasm there you can't get across. That's right. Now, um, I was just thinking of one of our Adam's dreams we've had recently where he said in the dream he woke up and he knew he was 22, well, his birthday, of course is the 30th of March, he'll be 22. So he, in the dream he, he, he was already 22 and he was with Claudia and he woke up in this beautiful palace-like setting, he described it of green, and uh, the thought was to go and get some ice cream. And we'd just been watching a, that Iranian documentary well, the homemade ice cream that they make a lot of, mm -hmm. but that was um, so. It's all done and dusted. And more recently, the dream of the pyramid, which finishes on your 69th birthday, the prophecy of it, just exploding like a nuclear blast, and the bricks flying everywhere. Well, of course, that's the people. 
the builders and the people and the destruction, really, of the people, the builders of society, Freemasonry, everything is well, it's destruction, and it could well be the destruction of the earth. <laughs> What do you reckon, mate? <laughs> it's all good for the good, no matter <laughs> Well, it is um, the fact that that ancient literature talks about uh, God himself coming to the earth as Jesus and then coming back again as the fulfilment of it to do what uh, Adam didn't do, mm. to repair the fall of Adam. Yeah, which is the chasm, the great chasm. Mm. All right, let's go on.